Hello you lovely cats and kittens, cougars and rhinos. It's a super duper sunny Sunday today and what we're going to do is we're gonna make a super duper super Sunday. What? We're gonna make some ice cream. Since we cannot go to the ice cream parlor, I'm gonna show you how to make some do-it-yourself ice cream at home. Non-churn, lovely delicious vanilla ice cream. It's not supposed to be called ice cream because yadi 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 yadi, but still fun and delicious to make. What do we need? Let me show you. What do we see here? Five items. Nothing more, nothing less. I've got here condensed milk, two tablespoons of vanilla liquor. If you don't like vanilla liquor, you can use any type of liquor that you like. We're going to use a fresh vanilla bean to, to add some extra flavor. I got here some vanilla extract and two cups of heavy cream. Let's get started. Very easy, like I said. Got here my pot with condensed milk. Goes in. And for this recipe we don't need any sugar as you've seen. Because in the condensed milk it's being cooked and very sweet. In the alcohol, in with the vanilla extract. Trust the vanilla pot, and I've already shown you what we do with that. My other videos. This is so simple, so easy, so fun to make, especially during this period of time. And the reason why it's not going to be called an official ice cream, because basic ice cream is normally made from eggs and high consistency of dairy. And in this recipe, we have dairy, only dairy products. The other in the whipped cream, still no sugar. Let me give this a good mix. So it's well combined. You can see the vanilla pots. Nice and lovely. On to whipping the cream. Whipping cream, also something the majority of us have done before. Start off with a low speed. Until it's, we start off at a low speed until it gets thicker. Then we're gonna add it to our condensed milk.
you're looking for for firm consistency as you see now we're gonna join these two together Look, the nice fresh vanilla that's in there. Fold and stir actually until it's well combined. You don't want to knock out the air from your whipped cream because we still want to have this light and fluffy. I've got here a cake tin, pour it in. Gonna cover this with cling film and let it set in the freezer for minimum of four hours or six hours or overnight. So this is gonna be a long video. No, just kidding. I'm gonna show you next what we're gonna do. Since we have to wait for at least three hours, that's the minimum, like I said, we can do a couple of things. We can go Netflix and chill with your significant other. Uh, we can just watch Netflix, YouTube, go outside for a stroll, uh, rob a bank, or because I said it's sun super duper sunny Sunday, we're gonna make some sauces. We're gonna make three sauces. One where I tell you where chocolate and water is mixed for my chocolate sauce. And the nice thing is it can be stored for two months. So that's a plus. We're gonna do a fruit-based coolie, and we're gonna make a lovely caramel sauce. And depends on how I feel, I'm gonna make it a salted caramel, yes or no, because I don't like to follow the hype so much. So depends on what I want. We start with the chocolate sauce. Okay, small saucepan. In with the water, water first, that way the sugar can dissolve easily. In goes a vanilla pot, the one that I use for my ice cream, like I said, zero waste. Ceylon cinnamon. Star anise, some cardamom, and I like to add a little bit more of vanilla. Then we're gonna open up. Spread it out the seeds, goes in, 
gonna give it a whisk and since you want to have a sugar syrup it will need to boil for five to six minutes put your container in with my chocolate all quantities will be in the description So this is up to a bowl, I'm gonna grab another pot for multitasking. Got here frozen strawberries, it's okay to use frozen strawberries, nothing wrong with them. I'm gonna add in some water. I got here cane sugar. Some recipes say use um, icing sugar, regular sugar. I prefer cane sugar because it has a nicer flavor to the sauce later on. And a few drops of lemon juice. About half a teaspoon. More or less. You can see this starts to boil. This is well, this I'm going to bring to the lower heat, low and slow. The sugar and the water will be a kind of a thickener because it will be a syrup. The pectin, that's the natural sugar in the fruit, will also be another natural thickener. If you can break down the strawberries, well these are really frozen, I can bring back the heat a little bit more. straight in and he uses trusty stand mixture strawberry sauce. I'm gonna set it aside, let it cool down.
and our water syrup is almost done. going to run it through a sieve. Some of you will be like, have you lost your marbles by putting it hot water on your chocolate? This will not split. This will be a very nice thick chocolate sauce and dairy free. Wait a couple of minutes. nice glossy chocolate sauce our caramel sauce is a two pot sauce in the smaller one we're gonna add in our cream because we don't want to have a large temperature difference between our hot caramel and our cream in with the sugar in the water normally for sugar syrup caramel type don't mix it around what I'm going to do is to already start brushing the edges this is for the sugar crystals not to burn as much what we are looking for is with a wet caramel is also a blonde one it will take quite some time to get there uh, if you make an Italian meringue it's almost the same process it will be about 118 degrees this will go up to 180 degrees or 315 Fahrenheit Uh, with the ice cream we're now making a vanilla ice cream but you can also make it a chocolate ice cream and for that you can use a chocolate based liqueur and um, basically for every base on this type of non churn do it yourself not to be called original ice cream but still delicious mm, the, um, the alcohol 
is going to be as a stabilizer for the sugar content so it wouldn't be crystallizing too much so the ice cream isn't too hard for orange ice cream you can use control with zest of the the orange and some orange juice as well mint peppermint whatever you fancy uh, you can use the fruit coolie we made and you can whip it in so you can have a fruit flavored ice cream as well it works also very well that way world is your oyster this is just basic for being at home my cream is starting to boil I'm going to turn off the heat so it won't burn meanwhile my sugar syrup is boiling and now we're gonna wait till the stage forms till it starts to golden amber in many videos you also see the trick with the cold water never done it before so I believe them on their word that is a way to see the thickness of your sugar syrup is correct the place I work we used to put a lid on it but the thing is when there's a lid on it and you have six things to do within five minutes you will forget about this one and it starts to burn uh, no discrimination but we call that monkey blood when sugar is burnt for some reason don't ask me why it's just something that I've been told few minutes further it starts to change its color as you can see it starts to get blonde at this point when it gets a little bit darker I'm gonna add in our butter I'm gonna whisk it in At this point we're gonna pour in our warm cream as well little by little otherwise it will overflow as you see so this is really really piping hot whisking it in While whisking it, we're gonna cook it for a couple more minutes. The difference between a dry and a wet caramel, a dry caramel will be a caramel very, very soon or very, very quicker. Wet caramel just takes longer. Cook it a little bit more. I was a little impatient, but still, now you have your butterscotch flavor in it. 
it's also really really nice for your sundaes, ice creams, other types of pastry where you're working with a caramel sauce. I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit in our pan or in a bowl because I think it will be too hot for my container. There you have it. Three sauces, a little bit over 30 minutes, and the rest you can watch a Netflix show. Time for the fun to get happen. Our ice cream is set. I always like to start off with a little bit of chocolate sauce underneath. Scoop in our ice cream, super delicious ice cream. Don't cheap out on yourself. And it will be very easy to scoop. Because it's so delicious. It's Three scoops for now. Yeah, three scoops for now. A little bit more of that magic, delicious chocolate sauce. Some of the yummy caramel, butterscotch caramel. As you see the color. For me, this is a nice color for a caramel. Let's get crazy. Don't forget our nice red fruit sauce as well. Since I didn't have any fresh strawberries, I used the frozen ones. Let's get crazy a little bit. crazy there you have it your nice Sunday and there you have it again another video by me it's some nice delicious homemade ice cream and now it is time Netflix chill with your own homemade non churn let's be sure non churn ice cream Oh, this is so good. This is so really good. Ciao.